vascular diseases or vascular purpura. Purpura means purple discoloration, as you can see, purple discoloration of the skin and uh, mucous membrane. So, uh, purpura, purple discoloration, and the cause of this uh, purpura is vascular. We have uh, another types of purpura related to the platelet. So, we have to differentiate between vascular purpura and the platelet purpura. All the vascular disorder characterized by easy bruising, bruising uh, of the blood outside of the blood vessels, damaged blood vessels, and spontaneous bleeding uh, from the small blood vessels. Frequently in the skin and mucous membrane, as you can see here, here in the mucous membrane, and here the bleeding under the skin. The bleeding may be very small, as you can see, PTK, very small size, PTK, maybe uh, moderate. Uh, in there or here, maybe in ecomosis or large size area. So we have mild, moderate, and large. Uh, Telangiectasia is another expression. Telangiectasia means dilated. The term ectasia means dilated uh, superficial capillaries. Telangiectasia. Dilated superficial capillaries. As we can see here, there is a superficial uh, capillaries of the lip. So, term uh, telangiectasia, dilated superficial capillary, leading to bleeding in the mucous membrane of the lip or bleeding uh, under the skin. Uh, vascular purpura may be inherited, like hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, which we mentioned before, hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, or acquired. The acquired may be simple and easy bruising in the pregnant pregnant weakness of the in the pregnancy uh, there is a weakness of the blood vessel so leading to bruising of the small uh, spots of blood under the skin uh, sinai purpura in elderly due to weakness of the uh, blood vessels in the old purpura associated with infection also infection like measles meningococci uh, septicemia leading to uh, weakness of blood vessels. Uh, Hino Skanline syndrome, Hino Skanline syndrome, or Hino Skanline purpura. It is IgA mediated vasculitis. It is inflammation of the blood vessels because attacking of the IgA to the whole blood vessel leading to leak of blood outside of the blood vessel. Scurvy or vitamin C deficiency also leading to weakness of blood vessel, steroid purpura, and long-term steroid therapy leading to purpura. We mentioned that we have PTK, very small, uh, purpura, the moderate, ecomosis is a large size type of this uh, bleeding. Laboratory diagnosis of the vascular uh, purpura, commonly by exclusion of the other causes of the purpura uh, for platelet, or other uh, causes of bleeding like uh, coagulation factor deficiency by uh, laboratory tests. So exclusion is very important to uh, confirm that it is a vascular purple. Uh, vascular purple, uh, very important to know uh, disease like Henox Conline uh, syndrome. Henox Conline syndrome, HSS, or Henox Conline purple. The most common vasculitis it is a vasculitis. It is, as we mentioned, it is attacking of the blood vessels by IgA. IgA. IgA attacking the blood vessels of the children associated with thrombocytosis. Uh, thrombocytosis means increased platelet. Increased platelets in the peripheral blood, leading to perpric rash or perpric spots, as you can see, spots, this is perpric rash or perpric spots under the skin, leading to itching and sometimes leading to localized edema collection uh, of the this uh, uh, rashes, leading to also edema. Uh, the prominent uh, sites is the uh, pot buttock and the extensor surface of the legs. 
that also lead to uh, pain in the joint so painful uh, joint swelling painful joint swelling hematuria or blood in the urine blood in the urine abdominal pain attacking of the uh, blood vessels uh, and hematuria leading to abdominal pain so hemoglobinic purpura hemoglobinic syndrome we have to mention that it is immune vasculitis immune why immune because of iga iga attacking the blood vessels of the children